Hey, this is Rene. Today I want to talk about the Turnaround Tuesday Expert Advisor and I want to explain briefly how it works and then walk you through all of the settings that you can change to modify the Expert Advisor or to adjust the settings so it fits your strategy perfectly. So we can see it running here in the strategy test already. This is just a quick demonstration and the strategy is very, very simple. It is a strategy that is well known. Many traders trade this for many, many years. And the classical turnaround Tuesday strategy uses a normal moving average, which can be of any periods pretty much. In my case here, I think currently it is the 40 period daily moving average. And you can see as I fast forward this test, whenever we are above the moving average, we do not take any trades but as soon as we drop below the moving average we do see trades and all of these trades this is what we can see here in the upper left corner on in the chart comments uh, comment all of these trades are opened on a monday and they are then ho hold until the end of Tuesday and that's basically it. This is like the basic turnaround Tuesday strategy and the idea behind this is that we want to wait for retracements or negative periods in the big indices. For example here I'm testing with the German stock market index and then the idea is that if we see such a retracement and it is strong enough to drop or fall below this moving average then there's usually or often uh, what we see is that after a weekend so monday and tuesday we will see some kind of recovery movement and this is exactly what this strategy is about and yeah if you believe that this strategy can also work in the future like it did in the past and in the past as you can see here it used to be very successful then this strategy might be for you so yeah let me um let me end this test and let's have a look at the settings now so the settings help you to not only trade this specific strategy but in fact you could also trade more so we can let me search for turn around tuesday we can drag and drop it on any chart i mean theoretically you could also trade it on um currencies for example but yeah, you have to decide if it makes sense for you or not. And these are all of the settings. So you can see it starts with a wait for new day high input. So theoretically, we could say we want to trade on a specific day, but only if there is a new daily high. And yeah, we will talk about this later. Also, if we talk about the time settings. Then we can define the trading volume. Here we have different options. We can say we want to use a fixed volume for every trade. We want to have a managed volume. We want to have a volume in percent or a volume with a fixed amount of money. So how does this work? You just choose one of these inputs here for the trading volume. Let's say volume fixed. Then for example, if you put 0.1, then every single trade would be open with 0.1 lots. If instead we want to choose volume managed, then it's a little bit different. Then we take the fixed lot per X money input and we will take also the amount of money that is currently in our account here. So let's say for example here my account currently holds 12,000 euros dollar or 12,500. So if I would go with volume money, oh, sorry, volume managed, then it would mean that we will divide the 12,500 in our account by the value that is written here. Here, for example, we have 1,000, which would be a mu multiplicator of 12, because 12,000 divided by 1,000 is 12. And then we uh, multiply 12 with the input for the fixed lots and which would be a lot size of 0.12 for every trade. This changes of course if we change the input here for fixed lots for example. If we do it like this it would mean that we would multiply 12 with 0.003 or if we change the fixed lots per x money to 100 for example it would mean that the factor is no longer 12 but instead 120. So I hope this makes you understand how it works. Also if you need to learn more about this volume managed um, and in general all of these settings what I highly recommend is to use the program in the strategy tester and just try out different settings and all of the settings that you might want to use and it will help you to understand the settings easily if you just try them in the strategy tester. Then we have the volume percent setting. 
here we can decide how much percent of our account balance we want to risk for every trade. Let's say for example, 5% of these 12,500. I think it would be around, around 60, 60, 65, I don't know. Um, US dollar, I mean, you can do the math yourself and then the uh, lots would be calculated. So from the entry to the stop loss, if it hits the initial stop immediately, you would lose these X percent, in this case, 5% on your account. Of course, this is not always 100% accurate because there are some rounding maybe the, the numbers have to be rounded at some point and also commissions come on top. So it can be a little bit off, but this is how, um, yeah, in general, how the calculation works. Then last but not least, we have volume, volume money. And this is very, very easily explained. Here we can define how much we want to risk for every single trade. Here in this case, we would risk 50 US dollar for every trade. And the lots are then calculated so that you would lose around 50 US dollar if the initial first stop loss is hit immediately. Then we can decide to use a target, a TP and a stop loss. Um, here we can say, for example, um, we, or we have three different modes, uh, calculation mode off, calculation mode percent and calculation mode points. If we choose off, it means we do not use a TP and same works by the way for the stop loss. Then we can say calculation mode percent where we want to say we want to risk like or the, the TP should be 1% above the position open price and the percentage here is based on the position open price. Then we can choose the calculation mode points, which, which would mean that the, um, yeah, whatever we choose here for target value is the amount of points that we place the TP above the position open price. So for example, if we use 5,000 points uh, or 500 or whatever, it means that we put the TPX points above the position open price and one point in meter trader uh, terminology or speaking is always this like the smallest price change in the last digits or digit of the symbol that we trade like for example for de40 one point would be 0 0.01 here because i have two digits here in my de40 symbol with this specific broker if your broker only has one digit then one point would be 0 0.1 so again if we choose um, the settings here and we say we want to have the tp with 500 points or 5000 in this case here where I have two digits for my DE40 symbol, this would be 50 index points because it's 5000 times 0 0.01. And this works for any symbol. Then the calculation, as I said, for, for the stop loss, it's completely the same. We can choose no stop loss. We can choose it in percent or in points. Then we have the time settings. These are very important because here we decide when we actually open or yeah, open the, the orders or the, the trades. So here we can say we want to trade at 1.05 a.m. in the morning, or we could say 9.05 or 9.0, or we could say at 10 a.m. we want to open the trade, um, the position. And here we can define when we want to close. We can say we want to close at uh, 19 o'clock, which is 7 p.m. or 18 o'clock or whatever. It's completely up to you. Same with the days. I mean, the classical turnaround Tuesday strategy, it, 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 it says that you should open on Monday and close on Tuesday, but I mean, you are free to do whatever you want. You can also open on Monday and close on Wednesday. Then you just close one day later. I mean, whatever works for you, you can use the strategy tester. And I want to say this again to find the settings that work best for you. My settings are never a recommendation and also the default settings for this program are no recommendation at all. You can choose the settings that work for you. Then we have the trailing stop loss. I personally do not use the trailing stop loss, but maybe you want to use one. Here we have the same calculation modes. We can have calculation mode off, which means that I do not use this specific trailing stop or break even stop. We can have the calculation done in percent or in points. Then we do have the break even stop where we have a trigger value, which means that, for example, if my trade is 2000 points in profit, I want to move the break even to 100 points in profit. This would mean um, for DE40, for example, with two digits after the decimal point, if the trade is 20 index points in profit, we move the stop loss one index point in profit. Then we have the 
classic or traditional trading stop loss here again we have mode of percent and points and here we can say for example if i use percent i can say if my trade is 0.5 percent and this is based again on the position open price in profit i want to trail the stop loss 0.1 percent behind the current price so if a price goes up and up and up the trailing stop loss will be dragged with the current market price also we can choose the step value we could say for example the classical trading stop loss should only modify the trade if it is then 0.05 percent more in profit so the stop loss than the previous stop loss this is to prevent hyperactivity of your expert advisor which some brokers do not want to see then we have the indicator settings um, yeah this is where we talk about the moving average that i explained at the beginning of this video here you can say if you want to use this moving average filter or if you maybe don't want to use it at all then you can just define the moving average so you can say on which day it should be calculated the periods you can choose 200 40 you can choose 50 you can choose any moving average again test it and then you can choose the method for the moving average and you can also choose the applied price. So these are basically the normal standard inputs that you also have for a moving average indicator in MetaTrader 5. And then we have more settings. We have an order comment where you can put, for example, turn around Tuesday. Uh, so you know always which expert advisor or which strategy uh, open this trade then we have the magic number for the magic number is very important that if you use multiple expert advisors in your account please choose a different unique magic number for every expert advisor because if your meter trader or your computer crashes and you restart then the expert advisors usually use this magic number to find their own trades and um, to not like interfere with the trades of other expert advisors. And then we have the chart comment. This is the chart comment in the upper left corner. You can either turn it on or off. So let's have a look at some more examples here. So this is again the strategy tester. And if I just change some of these settings, for example, I could say wait for new day high. Then I can say I want to have the calculation done in, yeah, let, let's stick to percent. But now I want to have a, uh, or I risk, I want to risk 5% of my account and I also want to have a stop loss with 5% and let's say I also want to have a TP with let's say 10,000 points and oh wait risk percent of balance here I need to put the 5 if I use a volume percent then I can say yeah Let's start at 9.05. This kind of makes sense with my broker because then the spread becomes very small for the German stock market index. I want to hold from Monday to Wednesday to show you that this also works. Then for the break even stop, I want to say, uh, yeah, let's let's go with points. Let's say if it's five, wait, 5,000 points in profit. Um, wait, let, let's make the TP even bigger. 50,000 and then if we are 10,000 points in profit we want to move to break even and then we also want to have a percentage uh, trading stop loss let's say here if we are one percent in profit we then want to trail in distance of one percent and we want to trail in a step of 0 0.1 percent then yeah the moving average filter i mean we can also change this like but it doesn't really change a lot so if we start another test now with these settings we can see that it is of course the same expert advisor but the the trades are very very different and that was the first trade already i was not quick enough to pause the uh, test here to actually see the trade but there's another trade oh oops Allah. it's already far into the trade already but we can see a few things here so we can see first of all the trade was not opened at 905 but instead the um uh, the expert advisor waited for a new daily high or more specific it waits until a one minute candle is above uh, or was above the previous day high and this happened here on this specific day at 10.02 in the morning then we open the trade we do see a TP now which is 50,000 point and we cannot see the initial stop loss anymore but it was 5% below the um, position opening here and what we can see is the um, trade was multi uh, was modified multiple times already by the trailing stop loss so we can see that now the 
stop loss should be i mean i think it should be one percent or so below yeah it's one percent below the current price and this is because of the normal trading stop loss and i think before this the break even stop loss was also modifying the stop um already and yeah we can also see that yeah usually i think the trades will now be closed by the by some kind of trading stop loss actually what i also want to show you is like if we hit the stop loss once we can see that we should now risk five percent on every trade so if the five percent stop loss is hit we should lose five percent so let's see if we can find a trade that hits the initial stop loss i mean so far the trades are all going very good but yeah i mean yeah there has to be some stop loss here somewhere so um we can see If we go for the biggest loss here, which is around 250, 260 US dollar, this is on the balance of 5,000 something. This is around 5%. So you can see like the variable calculation for the lot size is now working fine. So we risk 5% on every trade also like we saw the trading stop is working and everything and here for example if, if if nothing happens like if we do not hit tp and stop loss now we trade and uh, we close the trades two days after the trade opening so it was open on the fourth and closed on the sixth so the fourth was the monday and now we close on the um on the Wednesday because this is how I configured the settings for this test run. So you can see the, the, the expert advisor is now very powerful with a lot of different settings. So you can play around with these settings in the strategy tester and maybe you find some useful settings that you want to use. And yeah, it, 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 where you think that these settings with this expert advisor could be profitable in the future. And then I would be glad if you want to use this program and I wish you a lot of good trades actually and um, yeah fun playing around with this program bye bye